Extracting DNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid, also known as the three powerful letters DNA, is found in every living organism. Scientists remove DNA from the cells of plants and animals to study many things, from creating a hardier wheat crop to developing treatments for diseases. But how do they get the DNA out of the cells? We're going to answer this question in just a few minutes by performing a simple experiment. Before we get started, remember, never touch or taste any chemicals. Handle glassware carefully and always wear your lab coat and safety goggles. Also, make sure you have your science journal handy to take notes and record results. All right, let's get going. Here's what we're going to need. Two cups of ice cold water, a pinch of salt, a pinch of meat tenderizer, two tablespoons of liquid dishwashing detergent, ice cold 95% ethyl alcohol, a 250 milliliter beaker, a test tube, a strainer, a stirring rod, a wooden stick, and a blender. We're also going to need a half a cup of a DNA source. In this case, we're going to use spinach. Why? Because I happen to like spinach. And the other choice was chicken liver. Ugh. I'm going to take the spinach and put it in the blender. Add a pinch of salt and the two cups of cold water. And I'm going to let it blend for about 20 seconds. The action of the blender and the salt will start to separate the cells in the spinach. Here we go. Now, using the strainer, I'm going to pour this lovely green substance into the beaker. It'll take a few minutes for the liquid to drip through the strainer. This liquid contains the cells. Now we're going to add the detergent to the liquid in the beaker. The dishwashing liquid is going to break down the cell and nuclear membranes. I'm going to stir it gently and let it sit for 10 minutes. Time's up. I'll take some of the liquid from this beaker and pour it into this test tube, filling it about a third of the way up. Remember, if any glass breaks, clean it up properly and carefully. Add a pinch of the meat tenderizer and stir gently. The enzymes in the meat tenderizer will break apart the proteins that wrap around the DNA. Next, I'm going to measure out about two milliliters of the cold ethyl alcohol. I'm going to tilt the test tube and slowly add the alcohol so that it forms a layer on top. You see these white stringy masses? That's the DNA. Spinach DNA in a few easy steps. I wonder if I use liver as a source instead, would I get more DNA? Maybe I'll try that next time. See you later. I'm gonna clean up and wash my hands.